Hi students, a very quick grammar video here to help us with the concept of adverbs of frequency. Um, we have been practicing these a lot in our distance English classes recently, um, and it's something that we use all the time in our speaking, reading, and writing. So let's jump right in to this idea of what are what are adverbs of frequency and how can we use them in our sentences. Remember that we have a lot of different parts of speech in English. And what I mean by parts of speech is a type of word. Of course, we have noun, verb, noun, person, place, thing, verb, action, adjective, describing the noun, Adverb, and today's lesson, adverb, talking about the verb, describing the verb. We also have preposition, article, conjunction, interjection, and pronoun. Now, the reason that I have a small asterisk next to article and pronoun is that there is some grammar arguments about if pronoun is a, a separate part of speech, um, but pronoun is a type of noun. If article is a separate part of speech, but article is really a type of adjective, ah, even in grammar, even in grammar, there are arguments about what is correct and not correct. So I'm putting them all here because different teachers will include different pieces as parts of speech. But for us, the focus is adverb. Remember that adverb and verb is right here in the word. Adverb describes a verb. It tells us how much, how many, how strong, how long, how often, about that verb in the sentence. So if we look at our sentence, she ran. How did she run? She ran quickly. She always ran. She ran slowly. She ran once a week. She ran continuously. She never ran. Um, the word that tells how much for running, how strong for running, how long, how often. Um, she beautifully ran. She ran beautifully. She ran sloppily. How did she run? Describing that verb. Adverbs of frequency, this word frequency, we are specifically talking about how often, how many times. For example, this is a, a pretty good list, a pretty good group of frequency adverbs. Always, almost always, generally, frequently, typically, usually, sometimes, often, occasionally, rarely, seldom, seldomly, hardly ever, almost never, never, and of course there are more. There are always more that we could add to this list. Um, but this is a very good group. If you have this group in your mental vocabulary, you, you will be fabulous for your English conversation. Again, thinking about that sentence, she ran. She almost always ran in the morning. She sometimes ran in the morning. She hardly ever ran. She never ran. How often did she run? Often with adverbs of frequency, we are thinking about this, this idea of percentage, of, of how much. And I, I don't know what happened with my triangle here. I could not get the triangle to, to match. <laughs> um, always having that feeling of 100%. Almost always, you know, 99 we could argue a lot about these, these words in between, um, frequently, typically, usually, generally. For me, they are, they are 80 to 90. Maybe for another person, they are 70 or 95. Um, the, the percentage is not specific. Sometimes, often, occasionally, for me, in my heart, they feel about 50%, but maybe somebody else feels differently about the percentage. These beautiful words down here with 5%, rarely, seldom, seldomly, 
hardly ever. And then of course, almost never is maybe 1% and never at the bottom. The difficult part for us is then um, we want to know where can I put these in the sentence. Um, we want a rule. We want a position. For example, it always goes here in the sentence. Um, but actually, the beautiful thing about adverbs is that adverbs are very movable. They are easily moved within the sentence. Um, there are some positions that feel slightly better for the adverb to be, but truly the adverb can fit in many different positions. Um, if we think about this sentence, she goes to the store on Mondays. I could say, sometimes she goes to the store on Mondays. She sometimes goes to the store on Mondays. She goes to the store sometimes on Mondays. She goes to the store on Mondays sometimes. All four of those positions feel perfectly natural um, in American English. So let me show you all four of those sentences again here. Again, our base sentence, she goes to the store on Mondays. Sometimes she goes to the store on Mondays. She sometimes goes to the store on Mondays. She goes sometimes to the store on Mondays. Again, she goes to the store sometimes. She goes to the store on Mondays sometimes. Now, what you should notice here is that the phrase to the store is a locked set of words. We cannot say she goes to sometimes the store. It cannot be inserted inside of a set phrase. To the store is already a phrase. On Mondays is a phrase together. I cannot say she goes to the store on sometimes Mondays. That position feels uncomfortable for me. How are you feeling at the end of this very short, quick lesson about adverbs of frequency? Do you have any questions? As always, leave me some sentences in the comments below. Practice, practice, practice. Try to include some of these words in your daily conversation, in your daily speaking and writing. And if something is easy for you, like always, don't use it. Try to put something new. Um, you say, ah, frequently is a new word for me. I never use the word frequently. Make a goal this week to use the word frequently. Rarely. If rarely is hard for you, make a goal in the next few days to put the word rarely into some sentences. Talking about that 5%, um, something that is almost never. I rarely exercise. I rarely eat a salad. All right, students, until next time. Bye.